Hello chums, welcome back. And for those of you who are new around here, my name's Gaynor. I live in the southwest of England with my husband, my three teenage boys, two mental rescue dogs, seven rescue chickens, one obnoxious hamster. And anything else? Have I missed anything else? Nope, I, I think that's I think that's it. We're in the thick of school holidays. I'm still exhausted from going to Alton Towers with my little one and two of his friends last Wednesday. I was very pleased with myself. I thought that I would take a picnic and some crafting and just drop the boys off in the resort, let them get settled in and then clear off to the to the car and have a nap. I'd brought a blanket and a pillow, but no, I didn't do that. I stayed with them the whole day. Um, fortunately, they were happy to have me hang around and uh, we had a brilliant time, went on six roller coasters and other rides and attractions, ate cheesy chips and um, just had a lovely time. Walked over 10 miles. My feet are not used to walking 10 miles in the shoes that I was wearing. I should have worn trainers, but I didn't know what I was letting myself in for. I'd bought the boys fast track tickets, but they chickened out of going on the Smiler because 10 years ago there was a very nasty accident, accident on that roller coaster. So they chickened out. I said, I'm going on it then. So I went on it on my own got to the top of it and I could see them and I did a big whistle Woo! and Wilf said Mum you've literally got the nerves of still she was whistling at the top of the smiler to try and get their attention it was great loved it I did feel sick for hours and hours afterwards though but you know you just got to get on with it if I can cope with months and months and months of morning sickness then I can cope with a day of motion sickness from from a, a truly exhilarating roller coaster Luckily, it didn't hurt my back. Some of you may know that I have got a problem with my coccyx, with my tailbone. So I have to sit upright and forward all the time or just lay down or stand up. And um, and because of the nature of roller coasters and how they need you to be stacked, that is the natural position that the chairs and the harnesses hold you in. So my back was absolutely fine, which was brilliant. Um, I've actually seen another doctor. That's my poo dog. They're very noisy, my dogs. I've seen another doctor about my back and um, I've had a referral for an MRI, a steroid guided, no, an ultrasound guided steroid injection and a women's health physio. So as and when those appointments come up, I will assess them <laughs> and decide whether they are for me or not. Um, to be perfectly honest, at this point in time, after October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, July, June, July, nine months, I'm, uh, I'm willing to get the baby out, if you know what I mean. Just, I'll try anything. Right, what are you going to see in today's episode then? You're going to see um, some sewing and some garden stuff. I'm going to talk about a new vacuum cleaner that I very cheekily asked for. And what else? Um, I think that might well be it. Oh, my rescue hens, who I've had for six weeks now and they're absolutely heavenly. Let me just show you this dog that's making this noise off, off the screen. Come here. This is my little, my little rescue poodle. She's a very small dog. She's very old and she makes a lot of noise and you don't have very many teeth, do you? Right, back in your chair. Let's start with this top because I'm actually feeling chilly. Although it's July, it's piddling down with rain and uh, well, yesterday it was beautiful weather. Not too hot, sunny, but just beautiful. Today, cold and wet doing funny things with my hair. So this top is the zero waste one yard top. I, I'm looking around to see if I've got the pattern here, I don't. I will link it below. Now that I can do links again, I will link it below. I think I've chosen the wrong fabric for it, but I wanted it to match the skirt that I made, the meadow skirt that I made back in May. If you want to go back to the beginning of May vlogs, I think we called it vlog maze, you will see it there. 
I think this might be all right once it's washed and worn, washed and worn. It's a bit crumpled, but at present it just looks odd. It looks really strange. And uh, I'm just not sure how much use I'll get out of it. Um, the idea is that I could tuck it in. These jeans don't fit me. Um, or I can leave it loose. But it's just not, it's just, it's like it's got wings. Maybe I needed to make it considerably smaller. I already made it quite a lot smaller, but I think that's just because of my fabric choice, not because of my body size or anything. I think it's because the fabric that is recommended would flop better. So these wouldn't stick out either. But I'm optimistic that with wearing it, with this fabric, that it will soften up and will just become flappy. I mean, it is, it's very comfortable. And I'm sure if I did wear it with the meadow skirt, which has kind of got a waistband that would bring it in like this, and then the skirt would fall, it would probably make quite a nice silhouette. Yeah, so I'm gonna take it off now and Actually, I won't get dressed just yet. I'll skip straight on to the black skirt that I was making towards the end of vlog maze. Um, I had a hell of a job with that skirt. Let me Not with the whole skirt, just with the waistband. All right, back in a minute. Right, it's a beast to show you because it's black. It has pockets. Yeah, you can't really see. I really struggled getting the elastic in the back. I'm going to have to do a different video to show you this. Hopefully you will be seeing now a video of me trying to show you in full length the, the skirt and the way it drapes and hangs. Um, it's beautiful fabric and it was a really good choice for this skirt but not a really good choice for the waistband because there was some stretch to it and I'm, I've been sewing for a really long time, but I don't sew frequently enough or enough at all to be able to almost make the mistakes and then remember them again to rectify them the next time. So it's only when um, I'm in the middle of doing something like this that the light bulb goes on and I think to myself, oh, yeah. Of course, this sort of fabric is never going to work for that sort of waistband. And also it being black was really difficult. But I somehow managed to get the elastic in, even though it did keep... It has folded. It's supposed to be anti-fold, anti-roll elastic, but it has in plant parts sort of crumpled up. Um, I just... I don't know. I don't know if, I mean, it looks awful in, in this camera with this light. I did put a different top on to try and show it and show it a bit better, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know whether it's a, uh, I don't know. It might be one of those things where the fabric gets salvaged, but I will put the link to the, um, skirt pattern below because it's a wonderful skirt pattern this is the third one I've made and I have worn the other two loads sorry you can see my little t-shirt under there do you like my new blouse it was one pound of vintage I was wearing it yesterday when it was sunny with a pair of linen shorts of vintage as well and uh, I felt very chic <laughs> in a very wrinkled blouse. I don't know, I felt like I needed to go on a uh, on a little sailing boat. So that's that's the sewing. I've got nothing knitted to show you um, because I haven't finished anything and I haven't really made much of a start on anything. Um, my hand sewing is my English paper piecing. You've all seen that already multiple times. So we'll just come back to those next time, which probably won't be too far away um 
I often get a message after about two weeks from Caroline. Hello, darling. Um, she always says, says, I'm missing your videos. You only ever have to usually wait about three weeks before I turn up again. Um, some of you might not think that's a good thing. But then again, why would you be watching if you didn't want to see me? Hmm? I say some stupid things sometimes. OK, so thanks very much for your uh, response to the video I put up <laughs> of Toby and I and our new favourite household appliance, the Altenic D10 um, robot vacuum cleaner that we call Rover. I love that little machine. Honestly, love it. I've got no experience with um, the more expensive machines, so I cannot compare, but I just know that that is making a world of difference to my um, cleaning life. And I was so thrilled with it that I very cheekily got back in touch with Altenic and said, um, I've been looking at your products and I really like your cordless vacuum cleaner and I've got an old one that is becoming really unreliable and, and it just it just keeps conking out do you fancy sending me one of one of those and I'll I'll put it in one of my videos and they said yes <laughs> I'm so happy so they sent me the cordless hoover which is a U12 Vesla vac and uh, I've been having a lovely gay old time with it <laughs> so is Wilfred he's been cleaning my car with it it's brilliant it's really good um now they they haven't told me to say anything there's no like you you need to say all this stuff in your video they've just given me a link and a discount code for you to use and the link will go live tonight I believe it's because it's Amazon Prime Day 16th and 17th of this month so you can get it for an absolute bargain and if you use the code that I'm about to put on the screen I have to just consult my notes which is TFCL U12V so Tales from Cuckoo Land U12 Vesla V um, that will get the price right down to £118.99 which for a cordless stick vacuum cleaner with all the features that I'm going to tell you is tell you about is amazing um just beyond belief and it's also a really quality product so um i really like how it looks i'm going to show you a couple of videos of um toby and i having a play with it uh because that because even that you guys that were not interested in the hoover just really enjoyed seeing toby and i together mucking about with the robot hoover so i've included or i will include some footage um of a similar ilk that you'll hopefully find amusing i always find watching toby and i back quite amusing for some reason i just think i don't i don't know maybe it's because i love him i just find him very entertaining um yeah I love how it looks it's much nicer than my um current one which is by one of the leading vacuum cleaner companies um it's uh it's now I know that my current one is old I'm very distracted by Margot breathing here I know that my current one is old so it's not really fair to compare a brand new one to one that is over seven years old however I do prefer this Altenic Vesla stick we've called it stick um vacuum cleaner because I think it's more attractive it's not as heavy you don't have to hold the button down um like you don't have to hold a trigger to hoover you just push the button and you can change the power as well so if you're hoovering something and you don't want it to like i don't know if you're hoovering a lampshade or a curtain you don't want it on full pelt do you so you can change the power and then if it does detect heavy dust or heavy dirt it will automatically put the power up itself which i think is a really clever feature it's got a light on its head that shows you where you're going or what you've missed underneath beds and sofas which i think is brilliant um there's also a light on the handheld bit so that when you've not got the 
um, telescopic hosey thing stick on it. You've just got the little handheld one. So you can use that, which is it's great. We've got very dark corners in this house, so it's ideal, lights it up. It's a bit like those drills that have the lights on them so you can see where you're drilling. I always think that's pretty clever. It's ever so sturdy, but it's not heavy and it rolls really nicely and really smooth, smoothly. And the head on the telescopic thing is really manoeuvrable. I think you'll see all of this on, on the video. I think you'll, um, I think I cover nearly everything that I'm about to say that I am saying now. I think I cover that in the video as we're working it all out. It comes with um, spare filters and they're washable filters. And when they've done tests, it does prevent lots of um, the icky stuff from just being flown back up into the um, environment. So that's got to be good for people who've got allergies, hasn't it? It has to be good. Um, I really like how soft and velvety the head is because we forked out a while back on a, a flooring that will hopefully last the lifetime of this house. Just kind of trying to invest and put some nice features back into this 200 year old farmhouse because in the 80s it all got completely stripped. And I've been extremely precious about that floor because I don't want it to get scratched. Well, I've got no worries with this hoover head. It's honestly so velvety and soft. And it's great because I have really flyaway cobwebby hair. I've complained about my hair no end on this YouTube channel. You're probably all sick of hearing it. Sorry about that, that's Wilfred upstairs. He's been tidying his room and changing it around yet again. Um, and the Hoover head, does, it's, it doesn't um, tangle it up. Like it's it's tangle free. So you don't have, have to worry about the Hoover head getting all snarled up and disgusting and tricky. So anyway, that is about it. That's all I really need to say. Um, yeah, Hoover's great. Hardwood and carpet. Absolutely brilliant. It charges up really quickly. You've got 45 minutes worth of continual hoovering, which is great because after even, I think my old one lasts me about 10 minutes, but even after that, because I'm having to pull the trigger, I've got crampy hands. So, so this is just, it's just great. I really like it. Two years hassle-free guarantee and then lifetime tech support, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, which I think is brilliant. And that's all I am. Um... Oh, he's shouting now. That's all I've got to say about it. I can't tell you how wonderful it's going to be for years and years to come because I've only had it a couple of weeks. <laughs> But so far, so good. Hope you enjoy this video of Toby and I sorting um, sorting it all out. Apologies as well that my face has gone really bright, but it's so dark and gloomy out there. I'll just show you. Yeah, look, you can't see the view. But you can kind of see a little grey line. That's where the, the hills usually are. You just can't see it. It's raining. Hideous. Oh, blimey. Oh, it's going to be fine. Just got to put it together. It's arrived at the perfect time, though, because of that mess Bunny's made. Yep. And the fact that this is all clean, I can suck that up, and then I can actually use the stuff in the washing machine. I think that's some kind of... That's the, what you hang it on, I suppose. Yeah, it's attractive, though. It's a nice weight. Nice velvety brush. Mm, mm. Looks like... <clears throat> it's got... It does, that's a dust seeker. Um, I've uh, never heard of them before, but they... They're quite a new company. Well made actually. stuff. I don't know where that filter goes. Maybe you ought to look in the middle. You ought to look in it. it let's go in here somewhere. Yeah. That's quite clever, isn't it? You can... Yeah, that is good. Oh, it totally locks at different points, yeah. not just all the way out and all the way in. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, stick that on. Stick that on and let's go and suck up the mess that that dog made. Because I want to save that because that's that bicarb for cleaning my washing machine. Look at it. 
if you don't don't do it on the full fullest it sucks. Yeah, that's Which one? The hairy one? Yeah. Okay. Product up so I can salvage it and then we can do a proper hoover with the other hoover head. There is some other up. stuff in there, Gamer. Yes, I'll deal with that. I can't remember how we open it. Like that, wasn't it? Oh! This is quite a lot of hair and stuff in there. You can't salvage that, love. Oh, I'm going to get my sieve. Oh, Joey, Jesus. I haven't looked at the price comparison. I mean, I, I've never heard of old Tenet. No, nor have I, but so far I love them. Well, that's worked lovely. Yep. A few little hairs in there, but yeah. they would go through the washing machine anyway if I was washing clothes. This is what happens when you have a street dog who is never not on the prowl for food. She thought that by car. What is that? Swap the head over. That's easy. Have you made it the right length? Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, that's nice. Like the wheels. I must look an absolute state in my pajamas with my sunglasses on my head. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's fucking cute. What's that for? It doesn't feel too heavy. I reckon that was pretty good for a little handheld. Right, I've turned it off because it's noisy, but look, it goes under and it looks nice and manoeuvre-y. It's got a wiggly wobbly, you know, one of these heads. Very nice. And it feels nice. Or oh, I might set Rover off. What are we going to call it? Um, stick. <laughs> stick, all right. Stick. Okay. Stick. It feels nice, does stick. I hope you enjoyed that. We, oh, Toby and I seem to have a lot of fun doing silly things together. He's been away last week and he got back and uh, we were sat there yeah. last night just chatting and sorry, the dogs are going off on one. We were sat watching the football and just chatting and having little giggles together. And I realised just how much I'd missed him. I've been really quite gloomy without him, you know, just sort of getting on with things. And I'm fine on my own. And I do quite enjoy weekends where it is just me and, and the kids and what have you. Because it's, I don't know, it's just, it's different. But yeah, I do miss him. I much prefer life with him when we're both at home together. Much, much prefer it. So talk about my chickens now. Oh my goodness, I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. They make my nose fizz. I could cry just talking about them. They are heavenly. I do not resent having to get up earlier than I would like every single day to go and let them out. Um, I mean, they have an electric door so they can go out into their run, but I like to be able to let them out so that they can properly free range and give them their food and their treats and things. And I don't resent it at all. I don't resent having to stay up late because it doesn't get dark for ages here. So the chickens don't go to bed for ages. You know, it's like 10 o'clock or something stupid. And sometimes I really want to be asleep by nine o'clock, but I don't resent it because I love those hens. Oh, the light's gone really bad and I'm so bleached out now. Is that better? Um, I know that how I look is not how I look but how I how the film footage is is fine for the majority of you but now and again I'll get a comment saying it's a bit bit bleached out hurt someone's eyes uh so I just a bit more I'm kind of more aware of that doesn't seem to be a problem for for most people just out of the 11,000 of you it might be two or three but I want everyone to have a nice time.
so I am quite you know just want to make sure it all looks all right um yes and with chickens are brilliant they're laying six to seven eggs every single day I know that that will slow up during the winter so although I'm giving away eggs here and there I'm beginning to put my my head around how I'm going to preserve eggs our own eggs for the winter I know you can freeze them there's various ways of doing that and I know you can pickle them but there's also this egg preservation thing called glassing glass water preservation and I do not know what it involves other than you put all your eggs into a vessel fill it up with water and some other special ingredient don't know what it is so I might look into that anyway here is a little vlog about my hen put out the water and I've put out lots of little feeding stations and some big feeding stations and I've put out layers of pellets and crumble so they've got everything they could possibly need um, the water has got rehydration um, and poultry drink in it to help them recover from their ordeal today will have been an ordeal for them now I'm gonna go and get some more sensible shoes on because I'm stinging my ankles on these stingers and I'm going to get Toby to help me put the um, shades up Come. Oh. Yeah, come and take those two. Sweet. Yeah, come and tell. Yeah. Oh, come on, go and have a lovely time. Oh, there, yeah, you should see what's going to be in the real. Yeah, they got a palace. <laughs> <coughs> These staples yeah. been very well signposted. Even though the what three words led us to the wrong place. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello, sweetheart. Dust, you dust you up. There's no mites on you, but. Right, that's one hen out. Look at her. Hi. Okay. Let's get the next hen out and dust her bottom. Mum, what are you doing to the chicken? Stopping them getting mites. Oh. You've got to do some hair growing, darling. Oh, you're a state, aren't you? Oh. You poor hen. They're all a nice weight, though. Yeah, they're not scraggy. No. Look at the state of me now. What a mess. Yeah, they've got nice red cones. They're a little bit bald. And a little, one of them's very sore on her bum. This one here, I've purple sprayed her. She hates me now. Oh, my babies. Well, I think you're all gonna look exactly the same. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to name you unless you get characters. Nice to see you scratching. You do know what to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So, um, I think they'll all just be called Ginny, which is what my great granddad called all of his hens. You're a bit of a lone reed. I was about to say free ranger, but I meant a lone reed with your purple bum. Oh, if I didn't fancy you before, I fancy you now. <laughs> They're tucking in some grub. And look, now we've got the shades up. It's lovely and shady. They're coming out. Oh, sweet hens. Isn't he lovely? Look at that man. <laughs> getting, getting, getting embarrassed, warm. getting warm. I can't tell you how nice it is coming out here. And having hens. 
live hens. Oh, I'm so happy. One of them's found its way in. It looks so much brighter on my camera than it actually is. I don't think it's dark enough for the girls to have taken themselves to bed yet. But you just don't know. I'm going to try and get them in. Oh, can't see any of them. My old hens used to um, come running out as soon as they heard me. Wow. Oh, bless their little hearts. Oh. Look where they are. Four of them there. Let's see where the others are. Have they been clever and gone to... Oh, hello. What are you doing there? Oh, two in there. Right, so we're missing one then. Unless I can't count. There is five there. Bless their little hearts. One. So, look at the little girl. Oh, hey, darling. I'm cuddling a hen. Wow. Beautiful morning. Ah, oh, look, the girls are out. Peckety pecking. Hello, sweethearts. Are you looking for your food? Are you thinking, where's all the food gone? It's because I take it in because of the rats. What they're up to. <gasps> Three eggs! I don't believe it! Well done, girls! Oh, you clever things! Oh, how exciting! Oh, so nice having chickens again! Nice yoke. Oh, lovely. Here you go, Toby. Who's done that, you silly thing? Who's laid an egg there? That's all seven of you have laid an egg. Well done, girls. I've come to have my lunch with you. Somehow, I've ended up with eight eggs from seven chickens. This one is hilarious. Look at that. Well, weird. One of them must have laid last night. We're walking down to have a little sharpener, little sundowner with the chickens. Done well, haven't we? With what? Look at those roses there. Look, 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 look. They're creeping. They'll next year they'll be all up in the tree but people are going to think why are those two weirdos walking down the road with a glass of wine in their hand <laughs> filming themselves here they are there they are Hello. why are they hiding in the shade they like the shade what are you doing in there oh they're also dust bathing it's good for them dust bathing. yeah i'm going to see if we've got another egg that would be bonkers wouldn't it that would mean two of them laid in the corn. night. Let's get some corn. No, no more eggs. They're talking. They're talking. You like it when they talk. I've got yeah. corn in here. Have you? Yeah, I got a stash. Hello. And they want to venture out. I love it when they dust bathe. It's so cute. They're getting much more chatty now, aren't they? Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Oh no, I think that might have gone in your wine. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you've got a hen pecking out your hand. Oh, you're a chicken whisperer. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Oh, here comes Purple Bum. Purple Bum? That one there, she's got the biggest comb. She's got Purple Bum. <gasps> Go on, Perps. You think they can taste her? They don't taste chilli in the same way that we taste chilli. Well, I've read about it. It's good for them because it's good for their 
worms and things. Yeah. <laughs> that is so stupid, aren't they? They've only got brains the size of a cashew nut. So mildly more intelligent than your poodle. I think, I think they've all gone to bed. Unless some of them have been shut out. But they're not in the corner. They're all in bed. Oh, the clever girls. Yeah. We've got to do a count. We'll get the food in as well. Silly. That's not where you sleep. Come on. Oh. It's going to start playing up now. It's all right, darling. Try and find purple bum. Hang on, shut that. We'll um, go in through the back door. <laughs> That's not the back door. That's the sunroof. Why are you going in that way? Because I've got to get purple bum out. Well, you can just get her out from this one. No, because I don't know where she is. Well, she, you can't miss her. She's got a big fat purple bum. Why are they all in there? That's what I mean. Roosting perches. Because they like it there. Stupid girls. Look at them. Right, let me get the purple spray. <laughs> Gotta get all the food in as well, otherwise we'll get rats. Oh, I think this is purple bum. Yeah. Because she's got the biggest cone. Yep. Yeah. can't all be sitting on top of each other. It's not comfortable. Come on. Go in the roosting thing. Go bed there like that. She's quite happy. That's better for their feet. <laughs> I love them. I just love them. Lovely, lovely little girls. Good night, babies. This one always pecks my rings and was just pecking my necklace. Hello. You're my little friend, aren't you? Hello. Where is she? Oh, you silly hens. Tomorrow you'll be fine. Oh, you're picking her up. Oh, Toby, you just wanted to hug a hen, didn't you? Not really. Is the door open? Yeah. Well, I could have picked her up, but you were straight in there like a rapid drain pipe. Wanting to hug a hen. <laughs> That's purple, that is. She's got a really big comb. Stupid. Ready? That's how you go to bed. She'll know now. <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing my darling little precious birds. Oh, my little babies. I just love them. I could just keep repeating myself again and again, saying how much I love them. So I'm going to gonna shut myself up. And I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm going to leave you with a question. I need some advice. I have a flower bed that is west facing that is brand new and I've put a few bits in it and they're just, they're not doing very well. Combination of cold summer, a lot of rain, interspersed with some dry spells with a lot of wind. Um, so what can I put in there? Can you let me know? If you've got any fail safes i'm thinking my friend sarah said go for cosmos i think that's a, i think that's probably a really good idea or i could just get some bedding plants from somewhere like b and q uh, i just want it to look nice sort of through august really august september time there's perennials in there that will be perfect for next year but it's just this year i'm thinking about something to tide me over so if you know of anything i would be super super grateful 
Now I'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage from my vegetable garden, which has also not been the finest it's ever been. In fact, I had a proper tantrum the other day. My mate Kelly from Lay Family Yarn sent me a trombuccino pumpkin plant and I nurtured this thing. I nurtured it, I put it in my greenhouse, I potted it on, I loved it, watered it, fed it, <laughs> did all the things. Eventually it was big enough and sturdy enough. I, I made a, a climbing frame for it. I dug a big hole. I put everything in the hole that needed to go in the hole. I gave it a kiss, wished it the best. I planted it and it was looking fabulous. And the next day, I went down and it was lying on the ground like that. And a slug had taken the biggest hole out of the main stem ever. And I did think it, it's got side shoots. It might recover, it might come back. So I did whatever it, I needed to do to try and keep the slugs away. I had wool fleece, wool pellets. I even put down some slug pellets, only a few because I don't like using anything like that, but I thought just for a little while until it gets going, well, nothing worked. The side shoots got eaten and, and it perished. I was so miserable about that. I had a proper tantrum. But anyway, here's some gardening footage. Um, and I'll thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time for who knows what's. Who knows what it might be. I might just do a daily vlog. Maybe some cooking. Um, because there's not a lot of crafting going on. Not really at the moment. Because I'm just outside most of the time. Yeah, so I'll see you soon. Thank you as ever for being here. Um, if you're new, I'd love it if you'd hit the subscribe button or the thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment and let me know how you found me. Where you live. Um, and how old you are. I'm always really interested to know how old my YouTube friends are. Just because I find it interesting to think that there might be some people watching, kind of aspiring to be in the stage of life that I'm at with um, older children at home, um, with a little bit more sort of time on my hands in, in that respect, even though I'm you know, we're all busy, aren't we? Um, and then there's, I I know I've got some older friends here who like to watch my videos because they enjoy reminiscing and it reminds them of things from when they had a family the same sort of age as mine are now. So yeah, I just like to know. And I love it when all the familiar names pop up. I really just get such a kick out of that makes me really happy to recognise names that have just been here right from the start. Gorgeous. Anyway, that's enough waffling from me. I'll see you all very soon. Well, two to three weeks. Take care of yourselves. Bye.